So here I have a list of results for artificial intelligence and humanities. I've done that as a, an advanced search, which was an option to the right of my search box. I can also go back to a simple search, and that will um, take me to uh, my single search box again. So what I've done is artificial intelligence and humanities. I've limited to available online. And what I see are a list of results like articles, conference papers, and I should, as I continue to scroll down, see some other options like books. When I see that an item is available online and I want to view that item, I can click on the available online option. So in this case, let's take a look at this book. I'm going to click on the available online option. It should take me to a record that shows me where the item is available online through one of Lincoln Land Community College's online resources. Since I've logged in as myself into the library system through Lincoln Land, I should only view those results that Lincoln Land has access to. In this case, it shows that I have access to this book through the e EBSCOhost eBook Community College collection. By clicking on that uh, full text availability op link, that option, I should be redirected to EBSCOhost. And since I'm logged in, it should remember my login credentials and take me to this record within EBSCOhost. I'll see some more information about the book itself. And then to the left, I'll see that I have a PDF full text option available. If I click on that PDF, I'll be able to access the full text of the book. I can download a certain number of pages. In this case, I can print, email, or save up to 100 pages, and that will vary depending on the item that you look at. Or I could look at the entire thing online uh, in my current viewing state. So that's one option. If I go back, click on the X to the left to close that record, Let's say I want to look at an article. In this case, I want to look at this article called The Rumor Spectrum. It's from 2018. It has a volume and information number. And I see that it's a peer-reviewed open access item. Open access is really nice. It takes you to the publisher's website that provides access to that item. And here we're going to wait for this record to show us where we can view this online. And as it's thinking, I'll note that there are lots of different subjects attached to this. I might want to take a look through some of those subjects to come up with some other options for searching. So I've searched for artificial intelligence and the humanities, but I may want to look, oh, I'm really interested in hoaxes or social media, the internet. I might want to add some search terms uh, for future reference here. So I'm going to view the full text in collection. In this case, it takes me out to the director of open access journals, and I should be able to uh, view this item in full text, okay? So it gives me the abstract first, and then I can click on the full text option, and it will take me to that full text article. Again, this is an open access journal, which means that it's open and available to anyone. I could have found this through Google or another search engine, but it's really nice to have this available within my library search um, options so that it integrates within the, with all the other library availability items as well. Let's take a look at another item that's not open access, some sort of article. All of these seem to be, which is really great. Let's go and see if I can go to the next um, options. I'm going to go to the right. It says page one. I'm going to load more results. And I'll see page two of results. So here's an item that is an article. It's available online. So let's take a look at this one. It's from the Wilson Quarterly. When I click the available online, again, it will wait to show me the view online option. And what I'm wanting to show you through all these different examples is that you are not just searching articles in this case. You're searching for entire eBooks. You're searching for uh, conference papers if I've selected for that. And I'm searching across all of our different online resources. So here we have all these different databases within Gale. And then I also see EBSCOhost is listed there as well. So any of these I could click on. Sometimes I have access to uh, different dates within these collections. So Gale only takes me back uh, to January 1st of 1993, whereas EBSCO takes me back a little bit longer. When you click on that result, again, it takes you into the record within that database, and you're good to go. You can click, in this case, it's an HTML full text option, and I can view that full text there, and you can navigate within EBSCO just like you normally would. So I hope that helps you understand how you can access some of these items available full text online. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your librarians. We're happy to help. Take care.